Hello guys and welcome to TGN, the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about role-play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we made our way through Hotland and entered this dark and scary room. In today's episode, we're going to see what's beyond this scary darkness. No response. Hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll hack it to light into light system and brighten it up. Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome beauties to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. Preheat your ovens because you've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. We need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Perfect! Great job, beautiful. We've got all of the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, what a, mag wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We are missing the most important ingredient. A human soul. Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A uh, substitution? You mean a you could you mean I used a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's vegan? Vegan? Ah, uh, well, I mean that's a brilliant idea, Alfie. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand, always convenient, human soul flavor substitute. A kind of which is just over on that counter. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to our original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this. There. You can have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. I th if you'll remember, I believe Papyrus said in a previous episode that it'd be cool if there was a phone that transformed into a jetpack, and here we have it. Now we just need to dodge all of the different ingredients that we got. Music in this game is always so catchy, ow! You don't lose HP or anything during this, it's just you lose time, so get up there quickly. I forget what happens if you fail this, or even if you can fail it. Uh, but I'd just say get up there as soon as possible. You can't go upwards, it's just left and right. So just keep dodging, and you should be able to get up there in no time. If you look up in the top left corner, we're already pretty close there. And yeah, here we are. My, my. It seems you bested me, but only because you had the help of that brilliant Dr. Alfie's. Oh, I loathe to think what could have happened to you without her. Well, Toodles. Oh, yes. About that substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Wow, we... we did it. We... we really did it. Great job out there, team. 
Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. It's pretty ominous. This is... The Core View. See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core, then elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. The elevator says R1. But what does the R stand for? Come on, Papyrus, think about it. Hmm. It stands for red, because that's the color of the lights. Not entirely sure on that, Chief. Please select a location. Uh, well, we have left floor one and right floor, floor two. Let's go left floor one. Let's stay on floor one for now, and then we'll continue moving upwards. The elevator says L1, but what color does the L stand for? Come on, Papyrus, think about it. Hmm, it stands for elevator, duh. And we have this area right over here in front of the lab. So let's head on back up there and head over to the, I believe it was right floor two. Yep. So yeah, this is an elevator that not only goes up and down, but left and right as well. <laughs> I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name. Hey, we've got Sans here. Toasty bun. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird that there's snow on that guy's roof? Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Hey buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 G. Thanks kid, here's your dog. Yeah, dog, apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. Hey buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 G. You're holding too much. Guess I'll just put it on your head. So he puts a hot dog on your head. Here's another hot dog. It's on the house. Well, no, it's on you. Here, have fun. Here, have fun. Hey, just keep saying that over and over as we continue as we continue to build this tower of dogs. Thankfully, it doesn't cost money each time we get a new hot dog on our head. So yeah, once it gets off screen, I'm not really sure if it does go higher. Or, I think there is dialogue. I'll be frank with you. As much as I like putting hot dogs on your head, 30 is just an excessive number. 29, now that's fine, but 30. Doesn't look like my arms can reach that high. <laughs> and then whenever we try to walk, all of the dogs fall over. What if we talk to him again? Oh. So now we have two towers going on at the same time. Can we get multiple towers going? Uh, I guess because it keeps falling over. Okay, we'll just go ahead and continue on. I don't have all day to waste on the uh, hot dogs. Dinner with the girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Cool Skeleton 95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here's me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He's wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. Oop. Pyro bounds towards you. So with Pyro, what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and heat him up. Crank up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. 
hot, hot, hotter, hotter. So yeah, these are orange, which means you have to move through them. Oh. Pyrope wants more heat. Heat up once more. You crank up the thermostat, it's super hot. Pyrope looks satisfied. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter. A few bombs over there. The room is sweltering, and we spare him. Let's go ahead and call Papyrus and Undyne over here. What? My brother's actually at his station? What? I thought he only had three stations. No, he has at least four? Who the heck keeps hiring this guy? Seriously. Papyrus, why are you wearing those? Papyrus? Excuse me, I am the very cool online guy. Cool Skeleton 95. What? No, you're Papyrus. Undyne, shh. You're going to reveal my secret online persona. Fine then, I'm not Undyne. The name's Strongfish91. What? Really? No. Strongfish, please bring back my friend Undyne. Uh, okay. That's great. And then, of course, in this room, we got the the uh, Cool Skeleton 95 stuff. Lol, Cool Skeleton 95. That's a joke, right? The only joke here is how strong my muscles are. I believe down here... Oh, yep. Napstablook22 has sent you a friend request. Accept the request. It seems to have already rejected itself. Ah. An apron lying in hot land? That makes sense. Yeah, cooking is definitely fire elemental. Unless you cook a popsicle. Would you really call it cooking a popsicle? That's what you called it last time we, uh... Oh man, I almost forgot about that. What a mess. It took forever to hose everything off. There's an apron lying on the ground. Let's take it. Oh, I think because we're carrying the hot dog. Hot dog? Info. It was 20 HP. The meat is made of something called a water sausage. Oh, it's the plant from uh, Toriel's house. You eat the hot dog? Your HP was maxed out. Let's go ahead and put on the stained apron. Equip the apron. Alrighty, let's move forward. What? You have to solve a puzzle on the conveyors. Oh man, did I ever tell you my conveyor puzzle idea? What is it? Imagine four basketball hoops on the sides of a conveyor loop. The conveyor keeps speeding up until you get sick. Then you have to puke in all four hoops in a row. I hate this. You have to time the pukes. Oh man, you want to hear more of my great idea? I'm gonna hang up now. Hi, it's Dr. Alfie's. This puzzle is kind of, um, timing-based. You see those switches over there? You'll have to print them, all three of them, within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. One, two... Okay, now press the third one. Hey, looks like you only needed to press two of them. Great save there, Alfies. Okay, this one. This puzzle right here. What? How does this puzzle work? Um, whoops, I think it's Undyne's turn to talk. What? No, I hate puzzles. P Papyrus, you do it. Well, Alfies made the puzzle, right? You should just call her up and say in a hot voice, Alfies, I need help with a... Audible wink. Puzzle. Oh my god, no, shut up. Fine, give me her number. I'll do the hot voice. No, that's even worse. Audible wink. <laughs> Wait, whose number is this? <laughs> that's the last time I try to help with a puzzle, Lamau. Whenever I do Alfie's voice, I'm scared that I'll actually accidentally go into Papyrus's voice. So for this one, the solution is whoop. Uh, <laughs> hey. I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm 
I'm sure you can handle this puzzle by yourself. So in order to do this puzzle, this puzzle, this puzzle is super annoying. Uh, but you want to go left, down, down, left, up, down, up, up, left. Okay, so now we don't have to deal with that puzzle. Alfie's up due to status. Oh my god, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? Lol, that's the joke, right? There's a piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. And with that determination, we're going to end off today's video. Thank you guys so much. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on through the hotlands, get closer to the core, and see what else there is to find. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!